Oh yeah, it's time to get our engines all revved up and do some racing. This is what Victory Run is all about. One of the first ever games released out for TurboGrafx 16, and I would decide to play it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, it even looks like Outrun. You control a red car, at least that's what it looks like on the bots, but when you actually play the game, <laughs> yeah, you think it's going to be your typical Outrun clone. Alright, I got a nice Ferrari car, I got a babe by my side, and we're going to do some typical racing. Well, nope. <laughs> it's not going to be that simple. Okay, so if you look at the top left of the screen, there's a whole bunch of gears set, so Say you go over a big hill, that's going to affect your suspension. If you slip around too much, that's going to affect your tires. Ah! If you use the gear shifts in the wrong place, that's going to affect how you use it in the future. <laughs> Everything's going to go wrong. Your engines are going to break. <laughs> your brakes are going to break. <laughs> and then you can't use them as well. And you're losing time. Ah! All the pressure is on you. <laughs> you think victory run is going to be easy at first? Oh hell no, <laughs> these chats are super long, they take about 2-3 to three minutes to complete. Okay, you're probably thinking to yourself, alright that's not too bad, but no. Okay, there's tons of cars in the way, there's tons of trucks, <laughs> which are huge. Yeah, even if you hit a little motorbike, boom you go flying. <laughs> yeah, I don't care myself. If a motorbike can actually flip a car like that, I want to be the motorbike. I want to be the truck. And no, nope, you can only be this uh, blue coupe or whatever it is. If you actually seen the Japanese cover art, it actually looks like a SUV or something. It looks pretty durable, but in the game itself, nope. <laughs> it merely touches anything and can just go flying up in the air. Ah, and you gotta think of it like Gran Turismo 2, at least the earlier editions, you don't receive any uh, damage modeling or anything like that. <laughs> Even though it will get damaged over time, trust me. Ah. So, you basically have to race these different tracks around the world perfectly. Although it's mostly in Paris. Yeah, look at that Eiffel Tower. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, you got to be careful of the different bumps, different hills, the different valleys. You got to break at the right time. You got to make sure you move yourself around these different vehicles that like to get in your way. Yeah, they're assholes. And <laughs> you got to worry about, you know, keeping everything in order so you don't lose your different tires, brakes, gear, suspension, all that. You got to do it all in time <laughs> because also some of the time will carry over to the next track. And you gotta do this eight times. <laughs> there are eight different shots in the game. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's also rally racing in the game. Okay, now you're thinking, all right, what's the big deal? I'll just put my gear shift on the fourth gear. I'll drive as fast as I can, and as wild as I can. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Mud's gonna be everywhere. No. <laughs> Actually, that's the last thing you should do. If I can give you any advice, any advice whatsoever, when you get to stage 3, yeah, on the rally races especially, if you use the 4th gear on the rally races, it's just going to totally wreck your car. No, keep it on the 3rd gear. I know, it sounds stupid, but you gotta trust me on this one. Or else you're not going to complete the race. <sighs> and that's what makes this game so difficult. You had to play by a certain amount of rules. You only get one shot at it, no continues. <laughs> Believe me, I try to look on the internet for continues and everything. Okay, I made it to like stage four, stage six, where the graphics really get weird. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of clouds up in the air. <laughs> but no! <laughs> you die once, you get that one game over, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, thanks game. <laughs> uh, that's how hard this game is. Soundtrack, you know, you got a few different shots in here. They do repeat over time, but, you know, they're okay. Gameplay is far too demanding, though. If you're not a big fan of racers, you definitely won't be a big fan of this one. This one is hardcore and... You're either going to love it, or you're going to hate it. 
but still I can appreciate its design. So I give Victory Run here for Turbo Graphics 16 and Wii Verso Console or whatever the hell you got. I give it a 63 out of 100. Yeah, I'm dropping off a few points, but maybe the game's overall high difficulty and unforgiving nature of it just makes it a bit too difficult for casual gamers. So unless you're hardcore, you're not going to be running for Victory Run too long. So gently walk to get your copy of Fit 2 Run today. Try to go as fast as you can, but take it nice and easy too. Ah! <laughs> it's a weird sort of balance you gotta do in the game. But it's still fun. Give her a shot. Okay, this is Star Soldier. Over and out.